If you are looking for personal grants and you want to understand how to apply, here is the overview you really need to understand. So what are personal grants, by the way? So what happens here is that the federal government and some private organizations award grants, which are basically monetary awards that are free and do not require prepayment. And these are not frequently given to individuals though. You are more likely to find grants for small businesses, nonprofits, universities, local governments and research labs according to usa.gov and they are commonly used to fund innovative research support community projects assist with recovery initiatives or stimulate economic growth but however it is possible to find some personal grants available to individuals for very specific purposes such as education a work initiative or a community project so this is is really important to understand that so the grant is not going to change your life personally like kind of help you maybe uh, drive a new car or better your life personally no the grants can be awarded to uh, individuals but it has to have those grants must have very specific purposes and i'll repeat it can be education a work initiative or a community project both the federal government and private organizations offer grants of varying amounts ranging somewhere from a few hundred dollars to hundreds of thousands of dollars and basically we have worked with clients in the past and uh, some some of our clients were awarded upwards of seventy five thousand dollars in in grants personal grants that is and grants are completely different from government benefit programs such as food stamps or welfare and they're not meant to replace them or help meet basic needs so that's what i just said okay instead grants are intended to help someone with a specific opportunity or pursuit they cannot afford otherwise that's what i just said earlier it has to have a very specific purpose not about biology you know trying to eat or you're trying to no 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 it has to be something edu education related or work initiative or project or a community project. So you must meet the specific eligibility criteria of the grant maker and submit a detailed application and often a proposal. And you might have to wait three to six months or a year in some cases before you know if you have won. So given that the grant process is very slow and only a limited number of grants are available and you should not rely on personal grants exclusively. Now let's talk about what can you use a personal grant for. By the way, welcome back to the channel. We really appreciate having you. We're having a conversation about what personal grants are and how do you apply. So what can you use a personal grant for? The potential uses for personal grants are endless, really. You just have to find one that matches your needs and eligibility. So for individuals, you can find grants for a vast range of, of purposes. Let me just give you a few examples. You could be paying for education. So the government awards federal Pell Grants, for example, to a limited number of undergrad, undergrad students with exceptional financial need who haven't earned a degree. So eligible students can receive up to uh, six to 7,000 per year for this school year. Buying a home, for example. So some programs offer down payment grants to help low or moderate income individuals achieve home ownership. Supporting veterans. So certain grants are intended to help military families, especially those struggling with expenses or in need of career assistance. So, for example, the, the Unmet Needs Program through the uh, Veterans of Foreign Wars organization provides financial aid grants up to $1,500 for individuals for a variety of needs. You also have, uh, you can actually uh, look for grants to fund professional network. Private organizations offer grants to help professionals pursue career advancement projects. And for example, many grants are geared toward uh, scholars and researchers, but they're only available to other professionals if they meet the eligibility criteria. For example, the Fund for Investigative Journalism provides grants up to $10,000 to individual journalists who need additional resources. In another field, National Geographic offers grants to explorers, quote unquote explorers, who are working on projects in science, conservation, technology, and related fields. And one grant program is for less experienced professionals and awards up to twenty grand, twenty thousand dollars with the while the other is for more established professionals with impactful projects and awards up to one hundred thousand dollars. 
You can also get a grant for covering specific healthcare needs. Other organizations offer grants to people unable to afford specific medical costs. Some charities offer financial awards of several hundreds to several thousand dollars to individuals who need help paying for in vitro fertilization treatment, for example. Okay. A another project you, you have. Uh, so what I'm trying to say here is that the need has to be, it has to be pressing. It has to be urgent. It has to be uh, helping either the individual or the community. So now let's talk about, let me give you a few pro tips. By the way, I just want to quickly remind today's topic. We're having a conversation about what personal grants are and how do you successfully apply. So let me give you a few pro tips. One of the most common situations where personal grants come in handy, come in very handy, is during times when money is tight or gone due to extenuating circumstances and additional cash flows needed for things like health, school, and home improvement, for example. So those who are ill, disabled or out of work can also benefit from personal grants. Very important to, to remember that. Now, people also can use personal grants to pay off debts, pay for legal services, and a wide variety of other matters, including public transportation, fuel, new vehicles, real estate taxes, school supplies, new home, home repairs and renovations, transportation, caretaking, personal assistance, education and training, community improvement, insurance, medical bills, mortgage, rent, utilities, and other necessities. It's very important to understand that, you know, we're not speaking here about the SNAP program, the food stamp program. Those are anything that deals with the, your basic bio biology. You have other programs at the federal level that cover that. When we speak about grants, we are speaking about specific purposes, okay? Now that you know about those items where you, you have a chance of getting grants, perhaps you are, saying, you are basically saying to yourself, I need a personal grant right now. Well, remember, applying for personal grants is a very simple process. However, the competition is very high because, you know, it's all about demand and supply. So when you have a short supply, but you have a huge demand, then you have a competition. So even though there are a number of charitable organizations, private foundations, and various agencies within the government that award monetary gifts, it can sometimes be very difficult to be selected. So it's important, but I'm going to show you how, I'm going to show, I'm going to show you the, the ways, the proper ways of going about the whole process so you can increase your chances of being awarded a personal grant. Very important. But one thing for sure, before you apply for any grant, please check your eligibility criteria. Everything starts from there because the last thing you want is to waste the days or even months filling out the paperwork for a specific grant and you realize at the end or midway that, hey, I don't even qualify. So let's have a quick conversation about how to apply for a personal grant. So it's it's important to have the right strategy. There is a code. There's a there's a formula, a formula for success when it comes to uh, applying for a personal grant. And we have actually uh, developed this formula over several years. And today we are sharing this with you. There is not one single grant application. It's not about finding one application. You have to apply individually for a, a specific grant with that particular grant maker. And competition is often fierce due to the limited funds and recipients. So it's key to pay close attention to detail here. So here is how you start. Find the relevant grants. If you are seeking for, let's say if you are seeking a government grant, you can find current opportunities on the non-governmental portal, usgrants.org. That's actually the uh, the portal for us. That's the primary portal you want to pay attention to because they have it's very updated. It's very detailed. We love it. User friendliness, user friendliness is great. We love that. And while the federal government has an official grants database at grants.gov, it only lists grants for organizations and entities working on government funded programs and projects. And you can find some grants and financial assistance program similar to grants on the government's benefits.gov page, though they are mixed with uh, non-grant programs. So read carefully. So when we talk about finding relevant grants, I'm speaking here about being thorough. I'm, I want you to be. I want you to go granular because granularity is key when we when we speak about finding or applying for grants in general. Paying attention to detail. This will save you. This will save you a lot of time later on because hey, remember, you're not the only one. And you got to constantly see when you pay attention to detail, you are able to find whatever is needed for the for the grant, find the paperwork, gather the paperwork and apply on time. OK, 
And uh, when seeking grants through private organizations, one helpful method is to Google grants for, let's say, Google, gra Google grants for education, for example, okay, or grants for IVF. Okay, sometimes these opportunities are called financial assistance or funds instead of grants. So check to ensure they are, tru they are truly grants and don't need to be repaid. Very important here. There are also actually paid portals like grantstation.com that compile opportunities from the government and private organizations. So if you are willing to pay, let's say, 10 bucks or 20 bucks to have access to updated information, then you can go to those paid portals. So after finding relevant grants, you need to do one more thing. You need to review criteria carefully. By the way, I just want to quickly remind you of today's topic. If you just join us, please, we are discussing what personal grants are and how do you apply. So you want to review criteria carefully. Grants often have detailed eligibility criteria, and it's important to read to read all of the requirements so you don't waste time applying for grants you're not eligible for. Remember, I just said that. Restrictions might involve income or financial need, geographic location, career experience. It can be military service, age, and so on and so forth. Make sure to also check the deadline. Very important, okay? This is so important. And uh, when we talk about, and now you have to do your research. Doing research is really, 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 really important. Okay, before you apply for a grant, carefully research the organization and avoid anything that requires you to pay to apply or tax money for nothing. Grant fraud is prolific since criminals prey on those seeking free money. So look out for red flags. Boss, do not actually fall for any of those. So you need to avoid grant scams. For example, if you if you hear things like, you have one free money, just send me a blah, 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 send me $1,000 to claim that money. Never fall for that. Okay, and the thing here is that, you know, for example, they, they say, well, you know, you can't get this information any, anywhere else. This grant scholarship is guaranteed or your money back. I just need your credit card or bank account money to uh, bank account number to hold this grant scholarship. If you hear any of those, please, you want to actually uh, you want to flee as fast as possible. OK, one thing one thing you need to understand is that people who run schemes often claim to provide help and sometimes claim to be federal government officials. Don't be fooled by these scams that request money from you. It is illegal to ask you to pay to apply or to increase your odds of being awarded a federal grant. It is illegal. Be careful to watch those to watch for scammers that falsely use the AHS. HHS symbols and language to trick you and others. Fraudsters in the past have used the words and letters of uh, HHS programs to give the false impression that their costly seminars or paper use grant application tools are approved, endorsed, or authorized by uh, HHS. Remember, the agency, this department, Human Health Services, never endorses or uses private companies or individuals for this purposes. Never. Okay, so be very careful here. Next thing I want you to do here is I want you to find out the application steps. By the way, let me just quickly recap things for you. To apply for a personal grant, you need to find relevant grants. You need to review criteria carefully to make sure that you actually are covering all the bases. You want to do your research and part of doing research means that you are trying to make sure that you avoid grant scams it's a real thing it happens for real okay and uh, now step number four you want to find out the application steps so the application process is unique to the grant maker so to improve your chances carefully review the steps and follow them carefully again it's all about granularity it's all about in-depth it's all about doing research to make sure that you fit whatever uh, the grant maker is is asking for depending on the grant you may need to provide proof of financial need or other documents that's, that's kind of normal i mean you're asking for free money the grant maker wants to make sure that you're not sitting somewhere on one million dollars and asking for extra money yeah, I mean, because it is a real thing some people actually some fraudsters actually apply for this grant even though they already have money and it's also common to be required to submit a written proposal of what you, you intend to do with the money. And again, this is logical. If somebody is giving you free money, you need to, the, the, the least you can do is explain what you're going to use the cash for. 
okay and you want to take the time to write a compelling proposal with any data graphics or tables needed to help make your case this is important we have another video coming up that will cover grant proposal how to write a how to write a winning grant proposal and we'll just uh spill all the beans in that video so look out for it and one thing i want to say here is that when we talk about finding out the application process before you submit Please make sure that to proofread, uh, to proofread rather, to proofread your grant proposal, and it is actually wise to have some friends or family review it for feedback or errors before you submit it. And what we have seen in our experience is that when you write your grant proposal, you want to wait for one or two days and uh, just forget about it, and then come back to it again and read it. And then you wait for another two days and you just uh, come back to it. So you just so over one week you can review this grant four times. This will, this will give you enough context, enough, uh, enough uh, I would say, analytical uh, property, analytical dexterity to see exactly what's really happening. And that's, that's what I'm talking about here. I'm speaking about your self-critique before you even send it to anybody else. So the next, the last thing you'll do here is that you want to submit and wait. Okay. Once you submit the application, you have to find out if you are chosen anyway. So depending on the grant selection process, you may have to wait months or longer for an answer. If you have one, you may need to provide proof that the funds are used for the purposes described. And what we have seen in our research is that some grants are taxed. So please check the IRS rules so you will know whether or not you need to set aside money for tax time. Okay. Because again, it's free money and IRS might think of it as, as income. So so the bottom line is what those who are lucky enough if you are lucky enough to be awarded a grant you can enjoy the rare gift of money that doesn't need to be repaid but given that personal grants are terribly they're not really really common competition is very steep and requirements are hefty and the selection process is lengthy it's not rely it's not a really a reliable quick and easy way to get funding okay and so if you are in critical need of money or you are working on a set timeline it's just it may be better to borrow funds via personal loan line of credit or credit card and while the money must be repaid along with interest those with more than uh, let's say uh, higher than fair credit can secure a low interest rate this is really important and one thing i also want to say here is that you know the whole grant process especially for the personal grant please remember that it's not about you actually uh applying like have let's just say having a life where you are constantly applying for grants no a grant is a one-time thing that you need for a specific purpose and then you move on so you have to be in a situation where you have to ask yourself what is my overall goal here beyond the grant itself what is my overall life model my, my life my life goals okay am i just going to you know ask for free money over and over and over or am i going to use the grain that i'm getting that i'm asking for right now am i going to use that grain to seek the skill set to seek the abilities to seek the uh the the competencies that i need to get a, a regular job you know a profit making job a, a revenue making job this is really important so when we talk about personal grants the most effective strategies we have seen in the last 20 20 25 years are grants or personal grants that are used to improve the skill set of an individual or improve the uh, or improve a community so those are things you just need to think about Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, we're just having a com. We're just talking about what personal grants are and how to you apply. So I explained, I, I defined the personal grants. I talked about what you can use a personal grant for. I gave you a few pro tips. We'll talk about how to apply for a personal grant. Find rel You need to find relevant grants. Review criteria carefully. Do your research. Avoid grant scams, by the way. Find, fill out the, uh, you want to find out the application steps and you want to submit and wait. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.